called cover buttons that would normally be buttons and make them into earrings. If you can see this, I bought these. Soology from Hobby Lobby. You get two in a pack for two bucks. Let me show you. This is before it's covered with fabric, front of the button and back of the button. Now, this is these are covered with fabric, front, back. What I do is I remove this, which would normally you use to sew it to the garment. I remove that little metal piece. And then I glue an earring post onto the back of the earring. To make it an earring, it's actually literally a button at first. I tried to find at Hobby Lobby the actual um, earrings that are shaped round that you cover with fabric like buttons. They didn't have them. So this video is to show you how you can take what normally be for buttons and convert them into earrings. Now, like I said, I glued that metal earring post there with crazy glue. And I removed this part here, which is normally you use to sew the button to the garment. Or you can leave it. But me, this is my finished product here. I removed it and glued that earring post. These are so cute. My niece, Abira, got me into round earrings. I like the way they look on my face. So I'm on my way to um, Joanne's Fabrics. We'll be there in a moment. Okay, so... Will be there. Yeah, but these, see these? You get two buttons, two aluminum buttons for $1.99 from, these are from Hobby Lobby. Let me go check out Joanne's Fabrics. Another thing too, I prefer the kind where they have the teeth. Let me show you just a moment. When it comes to covering this with fabric, the, the kind that actually have the teeth where it can grip the fabric, that's what I'm actually going to Joanne's Fabrics for. These don't have the teeth. It's more difficult to get that around there when it does not have the teeth. So, okay, let's take a trip to Joanne's. We'll be there in a moment. I love these, you guys. Just convert them into earrings. We'll be there in a moment. Let me show you the back of these earrings, if you can see. Right there and right there, there's a pucker because you don't have the teeth. The teeth will remove that fabric pucker. Okay, on our way to Joanne's Fabrics on Florida Avenue here in Hemet, California. Let's see what they got. One last thing. Me, preferably, see how I glue the earring post to the top? I don't like it in the middle. I don't like the way they hang in my ear when I glue the earring post to the middle. So I prefer it at the very top. They just hang better on my ear to me. However, it's a matter of you experiment where you glue that earring post and you, of course, you do what's best for you. I've actually taken round circular earrings where the post was in the middle and I've removed it with pliers and glued a brand new one to the top. I just, I just think they hang better when the earring post is at the top of the earring. All right. Now I think I've said everything I need to say on my way to Joanne's Fabrics. Okay, guys, we're here at Joanne's Fabrics on Florida Avenue in Hemet, California. I'm going inside to see if they actually have the actual round circular earrings that you put fabric on or if they have the cover buttons with the jagged edges, which makes it easier to grab the fabric. Whatever the hell I just said, shit, I forget. <laughs> anyway, we're getting ready to go inside Joanne's Fabrics. I love making videos for you guys. I really do. Showing you my cre creativity and me and Jesus, we blinked out these glasses. Ain't they cute? They match my brooch, hey? Hold on, we fixing to go into Joanne's. That's the cool thing about being creative. If you can't find it, you can create it. I forgot I made my earrings too. Hey, look at God, won't he do it? Hello, how are you today? Good. I'm actually looking for, do you have, you can actually take it and make it into earrings. They're round circular. Um, I've been taking cover buttons and converting them with a post to make earrings, but I'm actually looking for the actual kit where you can make round earrings. Do you have those? I haven't seen them in years. I don't think so. All of our jewelry findings, all the little, mm -hmm. um, like, the, yeah, the ear wires and posts and all the jump rings yeah. and all of the uh, like eye pins and stuff that you could run through yeah. things. All of them are down there on the left. That's the only place I could. But but do you know what I'm talking about? The, it, I've, I haven't seen them in years. It's not, they're circular, they're metal, and you add your own fabric, and it's actually an earring. I've been taking cover buttons and converting them oh, into see, earrings. I I don't think you've I've, never seen that. I I don't think so but like i okay. said there's a lot of 
uh, Over jewelry there. findings there. And I don't do jewelry. Uh huh. So, I mean, I don't look through the whole thing. Yeah. But, yeah, but just down check. that aisle on the left hand side, just kind of look and see if anything looks like it. Okay, thank you. Because that, you know, with the hooks and the posts and all the things you attach to okay. it and everything. Well, the actual cover buttons that you put fabric right. on are on that side, correct? Correct. Where are they over there on that side? Um, there's uh, some so... down this aisle, kind of down where the snaps and stuff are. Okay, I'll and check then over I have there. bigger ones that are down um, facing the, the batting in the okay. decorator area. So those will be a little bit bigger ones. Okay, you see how that, that red thing is, right? How many owls? to the left of that red thing up there. One, two, two. three, four, that, just, yeah, the one facing the, where the pillow okay. forms and stuff are. Thank you. When it comes to your traditional sewing patterns, simplicity is made simple. That's why it's called simplic simplicity. Here's a simplicity pattern. And then you have quick sew. This is one of your easier patterns to make too. And then you have macaws. So you have macaws patterns, and then you have the butterick patterns. And if I'm correct, Butterick and Recalls are owned by the same company. The most difficult patterns to sew with, which is not, well, they have some beginner patterns, is Vogue. But the style is absolutely incredible. You do have to have a bit of skill. It's, it ain't, they ain't no joke. I'm telling you, I say a whole lot of curse words. And what the, any, anything, your mistakes end up being your best work because you become creative to fix some mistakes. So when I sew with just about any pattern, no matter the brand or the, Simple, which is supposed to be simple. I have my own little flair to it, my own little technique, I should say. Do what works best for you. The whole thing when it comes to sewing with patterns mostly is following instructions and looking at the diagrams on the pattern. That's what it is. If I did it, you can do it. You can use your creativity and take an actual button like this, cover, cover the button with fabric, on the back of the button, tuck all the extra fabric in, glue it, and see how you, you already have the, the, the um, spaces on the button to sew it onto your garment. There are so many things you can do to express your creativity when it comes to sewing. You guys, I've also taken a regular button like this or like this, sew the button to the garment, and then I've glued bling along the button. There's so many things you can do. Look at these buttons that have bling, but they ain't not cheap. Nine dollars, nine dollars. Whew. But anyway, it all depends on how you choose to spend your money. And you can always catch a good sale. I like I like all the bling on, but anyway, I'm still trying to find the, the actual cover buttons to show you. Another thing, you guys, I've actually taken buttons after I've sewn it onto the garment. And say I didn't like the color, I've painted it over the top of the button with fingernail polish. Oh, snap, I see the snaps. I ain't got to the cover buttons just yet. Okay, at Joann's, these are the cover buttons. These are not specifically for earrings. Again, you can convert these into earrings if you want to. Look at this. This one is $14 for $11.99. This is $10. These are different sizes for $11.99. Three, a different size for $5.99. And then you have these big ones. You get two for $5.99. I'm going to show you something in a minute. These are the kind I like. If you can see around the rim of that button, see the jagged edges, that makes it easier to grip the fabric. If you have the cover buttons without the jagged edges to grip the fabric, what's going to help is if you wet the fabric a little bit, that's going to help mold that fabric. But anyway, I found them at Joann's. Again, these are not the earrings. It doesn't appear that they have the earring kits. You can convert these into earrings. These at the bottom, see that blue thing there? There's another thing in there also, it's clear. That's the kit to help you press the fabric. Which this, is, this kit is actually better. This is a kit, see the blue? And then it has this plastic piece here that allows you, you put the button in there. This is so easy when it comes to putting on the fabric. The button kit that I showed you before that I bought from, from Hobby Lobby, it doesn't have the kit. It's, it's a bit more difficult, but still, you can still work with it, okay? These two don't have the kit. It still works. Use your creativity. Use your imagination. And always remember, in every video, your best work ends up being, your mistakes end up being your best work because you become creative to fix the mistake. Okay, here's another kit. You get 18 of this size buttons with the kit. See the blue thing? That's the push. You, anyway, this kit is 12 bucks here at Joann's. Okay, this is a section for making earrings. It doesn't appear that they had the actual kit for making round circular earrings. We're gonna make our own. Okay, here's two different sizes of earring posts. This one even comes with the back, and then also you're gonna need crazy glue. There's different, ki different kind of pliers that you're gonna need in order to make jewelry. There's all different kinds here. And it happens to be on sale right now. 
Look at that. These are three babies. You can do. Hey guys, today's video is how to take what's called cover buttons 